In this video, we will look at a few examples that will let us practice working with kites. In example A, it says, find the other two angle measures in the kite below. And it's given that we have one 130 degree angle and one 60 degree angle over here. Now, one property of a kite is that the non-vertex angles, which would be these angles, are always congruent. So that means that they will be the same measure. Another thing you need to know is that for any quadrilateral, the four angles will add up to 360 degrees. So that means the 130 degree angle plus the 60 degree angle plus these two unknown angles equal 360 degrees. So let's call the angle that we don't know x. And that means this angle will also be x. So now what we know is that 130 plus x plus 60 plus x must equal 360 degrees. And we can solve that angle for x in order to find the answer to the question. So when we solve this, we should start by combining like terms. 190 plus 2x equals 360. Then minus 190 from both sides. And we get 2x equals 170 which means that x equals 85. So that means the other two angle measures, which were the missing ones in green, are each 85 degrees. Okay, let's look at example B. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the sides of the kite. So one thing about a kite that you should know is that its diagonals are perpendicular. And it's been marked like that because there's a right angle, but you should know that this would be true about any kite, that there would be a right angle there. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find these missing sides. Let's first start by finding the length of this segment. So we're going to call this side C because it's the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. So the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is always the hypotenuse. So to find c in this case, we're going to do 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. That means 25 plus 144 equals c squared because 25 plus 144 is 169, that means 169 is c squared. Square root both sides and you get c equals 13. c could technically also equal negative 13, but that doesn't make sense in the context of this question because you can't have a negative length. So that means each of these sides are 13. Next, let's find the length of the other missing side. Again, this side is the hypotenuse, so we'll call it c, because it's across from the right angle. So the equation this time will be 5 squared plus 6 squared equals c squared. 25 plus 36 equals c squared. So that means 61 equals c squared, and c equals the square root of 61. So that would be the missing side for here and also for here. All right, let's finish off with example C. Find the other two angle measures in the kite below. So we're given a 94 degree angle and also a right angle, which would be 90 degrees. Now remember that the non-vertex angles, so this angle and this angle, are always congruent. So that means this angle is also 94 degrees. The last thing that we need to remember is that the four angles in any quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. So if I call this angle x, I can add up 90 plus 94 plus 94 again plus x equals 360 degrees and solve that for my missing angle. When I combine like terms, I get 278 plus x equals 360. Minus 278 from both sides, and you get x equals 82. So that would be this missing angle. 
So the first missing angle was 94 degrees, and the second one, using the fact that they all have to add up to 360, has to be 82 degrees.